And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Don J. And Don J writes, Hey, John. Well, hey there, Don J. So, on the Star Trek Day live stream on Wednesday night, they showed the first season two trailer of Star Trek Picard, which reveals Q and the apparent season two storyline. It involves time travel. They show also the show also announced that Picard was renewed for season three already. Uh, what were your thoughts on the trailer and the show getting early renewal? I am excited. Thanks a lot for saying it then, Don, Don, and I'm excited too. And by the way, uh, Carlos Quizada uh, sends in a super chat badge in the live chat. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate that, man. Listen. The, the topic of Star Trek is usually a very hotly contested one around here because Robert Meyer Burnett and I have very, very different opinions when it comes to Star Trek after Star Trek Enterprise. You know, because you had, you know, Star Trek Next Generation, you had Deep Space Nine, you had Voyager, and you had Star Trek Enterprise, and then all things Star Trek after that. I don't think everything Star Trek after that has been a win. But I think for the most part, it's been pretty damn entertaining. Star Trek was something that needed to change because their fan base was literally, literally dying off. Fans of Star Trek were literally dying and not being replaced with new fans. The Star Trek had stopped generating new fans for like 10 years. They'd gone like a decade. It was a dying franchise until... J.J. Abrams came along and did his Star Trek, and all of a sudden there were new fans of Star Trek. And some fans of the older Star Trek loved it, and some fans of the older Star Trek were very hesitant to it because it wasn't the same Star Trek that they had grown up with. And that's fine. We've had these discussions all the time. Robert has one point of view on it. I have another. One of the specifics that Rob and I have disagreement on um, is Picard. I, listen, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought Picard season one was fantastic. I, I really liked it. It had one or two weak episodes, yes. But overall, it was the absolute heart of what Star Trek always was. Especially when you listen to a lot of the monologues that Jean-Luc has throughout the series. Like, it's very, very much to the heart of what Star Trek always was. With a lot of dabbings of what the new Star Trek is. And I personally thought Picard was really good. Top five TV show of the year? No, but I thought it was really, really good. Anyway, we knew a season two was coming. They've given us a few glimpses. We knew John Delancey was coming back as Q, but now they've actually released the full-blown trailer. And I think the full-blown trailer looks very, very much Star Trek. I mean, it's, it has all those elements that I think are going to have a nice nostalgia hit for, you know, more classic or next generation era Star Trek fans. It's got a bit of the action and the, a little bit more of the modern sensibilities in it as well. I love John Delaney as Q. Q and Picard are inseparable. Like you, when you understand and you go back to like um, uh, Farpoint, like the very first episode of Star Trek, uh, The Next Generation, and you had Picard and you had Q. And then when you go all the way to the end of the series with all good things, it was Picard and it was Q. The two are truly inseparable. And I thought it was only appropriate that they would um, bring John Delancey back to play Q once again. I, I thought it was only appropriate that they did that. And him playing Q, whenever he says Mon Capitaine, I, I just giggle and I laugh and I think he's absolutely terrific in it. So, yeah, now as far as them green lighting season three already, uh, I think that's fantastic. It shows a lot of confidence in the show. Uh, they know they were able to get some new viewers on board with the first season of Picard. I think that's grown a little bit. I think I hope season two is good. I mean, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully it's good, and that'll lead us into season three. But it's nice to see that they've already made that commitment to season three. I'll watch Patrick Stewart playing Jean-Luc Picard or Charles Xavier all day, every day. So sign me up for it. I think this sounds great. And I thought the trailer was very good. Was it a mind-blowingly, like, absolutely insane, this is the greatest trailer I've seen in 10 years? No. But it was solid. I thought it was quite solid. Even though it's using time travel, and I'm not a fan of time travel tropes, but if anything's going to use it, it's going to be Star Trek. So there you go. So let's see how it goes. Question is for you guys. What do you think? 
about number one, the Picard season two trailer, but number two, the fact that they've already announced that they've greenlit a season three. Whatever you guys think about it, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.